first, why don't I just spend a minute giving you a couple of, uh, of uh, a list of some of the new information uh, today. First of all, with regard to the Fukushima nuclear plant, as you know, there are two NRC engineers, uh, as well as a Department of Health and Her Human Services radiation emergency specialist and a Department of Energy Radiation Health, health Hazards experts have been already on the ground since last Saturday. Uh, I was just told that an additional seven experts from the uh, Nuclear Regulatory Commission have arrived in Japan today. In addition, U.S. aerial and ground radiation monitoring equipment and 34 personnel arrived in Japan last night. These personnel have expertise in health physics and airborne and ground-based radiation field monitoring. The equipment includes detectors, data acquisition systems, health and health physics kits. In the military support area, we have delivered over 7,000 pounds of food and water to the disaster area and more is on the way. Nine ships are assisting in the relief operations and helicopters and other aircraft have now flown over 50 missions to conduct survivor recoveries, transport passengers, and distribute food and water supplies in the most needy areas. With regard to some of the other assistance that's being provided by U.S. aid, more at this point in time, more than $5.8 million of United States aid uh, has come to Japan so far, and more is on the way. Uh, urban search and rescue teams are working under the instruction of the Japanese and are coordinating with UK and Chinese teams to ensure a coordinated international response. So this is just obviously a piece, small piece, of uh, the incredible resources that uh, the United States are, are providing to this uh, human tragedy. So uh, again, our thoughts are with the people of Japan in this incredibly difficult and tragic time, and we will continue to um, provide assistance in any way possible as Japan confronts its enormous challenges uh, in, in the weeks, months, and years ahead.